Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lei. I've been thinking about this question for quite some time now. That is, how much does it cost to colonize Mars? Elon Musk popularized the idea of Mars colonization two years ago in the International Aeronautical Congress, and I was immediately blown away by the boldness of the idea and more than anything, its feasible approach. It was refreshing because for the first time in human history, we're sending humans to Mars not out of curiosity but necessity. However, what comes with the idea was an incredible barrier that no one knows how to cross. On one side of the barrier is us, sitting on our precious planet, enjoying the comfortable life that was given to us as birthright. On the other side of it is a concept, an idea, and an objectively brighter future for human race. However, what sits between these two sides is a gigantic socio-economic and technological barrier. Making life multiplanetary is an incredible thing we always knew is good for us, but no one thought it could be possible. There's just too much resistance, too big of a barrier to cross. I can't possibly fathom the complexity of this barrier. What I will try instead is to measure the economic part of the barrier in today's video. With a limited time and resources, this is what I found. First of all, in order to have a sensible estimation, we need to lay a few ground rules. Rule number one: When I'm talking about multiplanetary species, I'm talking about self-sustaining multiplanetary species. Elon's estimation is that we need at least one million population to be self-sustaining. Robert Zubrin also mentioned in his paper the economic viability of Mars colonization. That even with optimistic extrapolation of robotic manufacturing techniques, Mars will not have the division of labor required to make it fully self-sufficient until its population numbers in the millions. So, for the purpose of calculation today, I will use one million. Rule number two: We'll assume ideal situations where there's no redundancy. For example, we can engineer the society composition, meaning the male-to-female ratio, number of engineers, scientists, doctors, and so on. Rule number three: All numbers will be translated into today's money because one billion dollars in 1971 is significantly more valuable than one billion dollars in today's money. Now let's talk about the actual estimation. There are three parts to the cost: development cost, transportation cost, as well as logistics and infrastructure cost. Let's start with the easiest part: the transportation cost. The most idealistic costs for human transportation currently are the numbers given to us by Elon Musk. Unlike the traditional $100 million per ticket, Elon says he can lower the price to $200,000. If you don't know how he's going to do it, I'll link one of my earliest videos here. That video explains it. So, assuming $200,000 per ticket and 1 million tickets to Mars, it will cost SpaceX $200 billion to send a million people to Mars. The actual modeling is much more complicated than this, and takes into consideration population growth and those who left Mars after a few years. But one million is a good ballpark figure for this estimation. Then we need to talk about development cost. This includes initial rockets and spacecraft development, as well as dedicated Mars facilities development. However, since we have no way to estimate something we don't know yet, I will use historical numbers to extrapolate. The only comparable space exploration program is the Apollo mission to the moon. It cost the American government 25.4 billion dollars to support the missions throughout its 10 years existence. Adjusted for inflation, 25.4 billion dollars in the 1960s worth around 200 billion dollars in 2018. And this is only the development and procurement cost for spacecraft and rockets over 10 years. So if we're talking about supporting a Mars colonization over 50 years from 2020 to 2070, which was what Elon has planned, we're talking about over a trillion dollars. It just got a lot scarier, isn't it? Well, it's not over yet. So far, we have just talked about launch vehicles and spacecraft development. The development of Martian facilities is a completely uncharted territory because we're dealing with problems we have never faced on Earth. Radiation protection, growing plants and animals on the red planet with different gravitational fields, building shelters with materials found on Mars. On top of this, we need to launch additional BFRs to send these facilities to Mars in the first few decades, hoping that we can build them on Mars thereafter. 
This again requires tremendous effort and a lot of financial support. I wouldn't be surprised if it costs more than $500 billion over the course of next 50 years. $500 billion is probably way, way too low. The last cost we need to calculate is logistics and infrastructure cost. Here we're talking about slowly building a city that can fit a million people with either the material found on Mars or by transporting them from the Earth. To build a city, there will also, of course, be satellites for accessing the internet, energy plants for utilities, electricities, and so on. Only difference between building a city on Earth and building a city on Mars is that we have never done it before on Mars. So how much will it cost to build a city of a million people from scratch? Lucky for us, there is one project we can draw inspirations on. The Mastar City in Abu Dhabi. The city is planned to host 50,000 people when it's completed and has projected cost of $20 billion. So if we're talking about building a city for 1 million people on Earth instead of 50,000, it will cost around $400 billion. That's on Earth though. Cost of building a city on Mars will definitely be much higher than this since there is no existing infrastructure available. So combining the transportation cost, development cost, as well as logistics and infrastructure cost, it will take us at least $2.1 trillion to colonize Mars in the most idealistic scenario. Assuming SpaceX successfully built BFR that cost $200,000 to send a person to Mars, building a city on Mars cost as much as building a city in the middle of Abu Dhabi, Rocket development cost as much as the Apollo mission to the moon and developing Martian facilities cost only $500 billion. <laughs> Can you see it? $2.1 trillion for Mars colonization is a gross underestimation of what the number really is. But until we commit to doing it, we'll never know how much it really cost. It's like building the Sydney Opera House. We think we can build it with $7 million in six years, it turned out to have costed us over a hundred million dollars and 10 additional years. I can't imagine my estimation today to be any better than the original cost estimation for the Sydney Opera House. So in conclusion, no. Elon Musk will not be able to fund this project by himself. No one can. It requires a concerted effort from all of us to make it happen. Even if we can colonize Mars with $2.1 trillion, it still seems like a lot of money. It is not at all unachievable though. I mean, just look at the US government defense budget. $750 billion in 2018. This means $38 trillion over 50 years. If we can spend 10% of that budget to space exploration and we would have a city on Mars in 50 years, that sounds pretty awesome to me. Thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun researching this topic. That's why I've decided to make another video on Mars colonization. I'm not sure when it's gonna come out, so definitely stay tuned. For those of you who are new here, I'm Lei. I make science and technology videos on this channel. If you like what I do here, subscribe with notifications on. If you have questions about this video, tweet me at Lei Creatives and we'll take it from there. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.